<laughs> okay, so we're just going to practice picking up her feet. So Lucas has All got right, the rope around her neck, and it's that vet rope that I like using. And so I picked them up at liberty, but now I'm just going to be tapping on the shoulder, saying up foot, then running my hand down, and I just want to gently hold it where it would be for picking out and trimming and stuff. And if she moves around, I've just got to keep hold of it till she stays calm. As soon as she stays calm, then I put it down and give her some prey. So I just start on the front lift because it's um, out of habit. And we go up, foot, tap on her shoulder. And I can just do a gentle shaking motion to get it where it's Honey. nice and level. And she's just going to test out what happens when she moves around. I only put it down when she's relaxed though. It's too tight to do a hind there and she doesn't really know much about leading. So I'll just go over and do the other front so you've got a better view of what happens. So I'm, there's the pointed shoulder there. I'm going up on the um, flatty part of the shoulder because I'll be using the point of shoulder to teach you to bring it forward this part of the shoulder to teach you to hold it level. So I'm going to say up foot, then I'm going to use my thumb, the side of my fingernail, on the fetlock there, just to get that natural reaction of picking it up. And then I can just do this gentle swaying motion, and that will naturally relax the foot. And you can see here how the, uh, the shin's angled. So I'm just going to keep relaxing it until that shin is flat. Some of them fight heaps, she's not fighting too much. And just that gentle rocking until the tension's off it. Once the tension's off it, I'll let it back down. And yeah, again, I stay close with her and I'm using this part of my arm to push against her arm so that she can't, can't you know, if she could get it out like this, she's got a lot more play, but where it's like this, she really doesn't. So again with the back on the flashy bit, um, so up there I'm doing PR and down there I'm doing PR, so it's got to be in the middle. So I'm going to say up foot, come down with the thumb again on the base of that fetlock, just holding the hoof. About where the fairy would want to work, just letting her relax into it. I don't want her thinking that she can pull it away, that's why I'm keeping hold of it when she moves. When she relaxes, I'll just let it down. And I'll keep my hand on, if she doesn't put it down naturally, I'll keep my hand on it, so my hand's coming off as it goes down, so she doesn't think that she's pulled away from me. She recognizes that I've been in contact with her the whole time until her foot's on the ground. And yeah, so we just increase the time at which she spends holding those legs up. And then when she's comfortable with all those, then I'll teach her to bring the front forward and stand it on a stand for just doing that final round the front. 